Isn't that gorgeous? Now here's the steps to making an area rug. Step number one, unroll your carpet. So basically just unroll the carpet there, get the tube out, give yourself some space, kind of stretch it out. This particular rug is gonna be a 20 foot by 20 foot round circle. Yeah, it's going into a very large home. Uh, the pattern match on it is 78 inch wide at 48 inch long. So right here you can see what they're doing for step two is they're finding the pattern and they're making a clean cut. Step three, you got to match up the carpet to make sure that the pattern matches. And on that kind of pattern match, it's not easy to get that pattern matched up. So you really got to take your time getting it right. Just right, that is. This home this is going into is very large, as I said, and uh, you don't want to make any errors. Step four, you want to cut off the excess carpet, uh, off the rug there, to save yourself some space. Step five, place a six inch seam tape. There's also four inch. In this case, we want to use a six inch extra strength uh, seam tape underneath the carpet. Step six, we're gonna heat up your seaming iron and we're gonna follow it with the weight and the rug tractor. The weight's gonna hold it down, get it the glue to stick, the tractor's gonna form it together. Step seven, we're gonna use the kicker to butt the carpet together as it's needed. And uh, anytime it's kind of pulling away a little bit, you just kick it right into place there. So you just got to use that kicker to bump it where it's supposed to go so there's no air pockets. All right, so we want a nice, clean seam. You don't want to be seeing the seam all the way down in a rug that size. And with a pattern like that, uh, it's not easy to do. Step eight, let's the seam tape dry. And like I said, you want to check to make sure there's no gaps, no holes. Go through. You go back and use the tractor. You can use a little pair of flat scissors and cut any excess yarn off of the seam. Step nine, we want to clean up all edges, all right? And then you flip it over, all right? And then get ready for step number 10. You find the center point, drive a screw into it, and then you're going to use the straight edge. You attach it to the circle, all right? You attach the straight edge to the screw. You take your Sharpie and you follow your circle. You got one guy there holding on the center, which you find 10 feet, which is the center of the 20, and that goes for both sides, and you follow it all the way around, and you get your circle until you're done marking it all the way around. And once you've gotten the mark uh, to back to your center point, what you wanna do is get your carpet knife at that point, and that you're gonna follow along it, all right? And that's gonna be your step 11, all right? So you just take the knife and you cut your template. You just cut all along the marker, start pulling the carpet, the excess carpet back so it's out of your way and follow it all along the marked line that you did for your circle. And pretty much that's, once you have your circle like that, uh, that's that's the hardest part okay so as you can see here they're going ahead and they're still cutting along they're going to start pulling off that excess uh, carpet that they uh, yeah so they're going to start pulling that excess carpet off that they cut step 12 once your rug is cut flip it over and you'll see your finished circle isn't that beautiful a 20 foot circle 20 foot round. Now, I don't know many living rooms that can fit in, but that's a that's a nice size piece there. Step 13, vacuum all the loose yarn and also go along the perimeter so they can get ready for the binding, but get all that loose yarn off there so when you're rolling it up, it doesn't get caught along uh, with the carpet. And so when you unroll it uh, at the customer's house, you're not going to make a mess there. All right, because more will come off the carpet uh, as the binder's done. It's just, a, it's just the way it goes. So when we go to deliver it, you're going to notice we're going to vacuum it there at the home as well. Uh, step 14, 
We're going to bind along the entire perimeter. We're going to bind along the entire perimeter of the rug. So you're just going to follow all the way around with your uh, binding tape. You get the binding tape that matches the rug and you're just going to follow it all the way around. All right, this does not take very long. This, this particular binding machine is a portable, which is good because it's not easy to haul this rug around. And, and most people don't have enough space. In this case, we're doing it at the shop and we had to clear things out of the way so that we could go ahead and get the portable binder to get all the way around the rug. Uh, fortunately, our binder is very good and he is able to do it in record time. So, so once you're done with the binding, you want to go on to step 15. What's that? Deliver it to your happy, satisfied customer. And in order to do that, you need at least three, four guys for that size rug, and we'll start vacuuming it. Like I said, it's going to need another vacuum. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the, li the like button, and there's your finished product.